Oh my god. Super tidy. Hey, good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is Jonathan Mai. This is My Fishing Life. So we're at a brand new spillway location and I parked the car right on the spillway, but there's a sign that says I can't fish on the spillway. And also I noticed it's kind of dry up out there. I didn't see any sign of life. So I kind of walked my way downstream and found this nice uh, pool of water here, which I think we might have some fish. So I got two light rods and I have some night crawlers. So let's go ahead and get hooked up and cast it up. All right, guys, I got it all set up. Uh, we're using a light action rod. It's sitting on an eight pound braid on a six pound floor. And I got a tiny little sliding sinker like that. That's going to be the little orange bee right here, you can see. And it's got a swivel. Everything is tied together using a clinch knot. And I got a night crawler attached to a number two side hook. So let's go ahead and cast it out. Oh, look at that. Somebody put a nice little stick here for us. I'm going to hook up the second rod. Oh, we, oh, we're on already. As you can see, as soon as I cast that line out, have my back turned, and this fish already dumped my rod, I did not know the and what was going on behind my back obviously and I walk back towards uh, where I got everything set up and I turn my body around and I noticed the rod was going off so you can see me running towards the bank grab the fishing rod because um, I don't know what kind of fish it is and I don't want that whatever fish to pull the fishing rod into the creek and, and I didn't feel like jumping in the water today. Wow we just, we just tossed this guy out less than a minute ago. Size river drum, man. Yeah, that takes less than two minutes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let this guy go. Hey, everybody, pretty good size drum. Catch later. All right, come on, swim, swim, swim. There you go. There you go. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Here we go. Nice catfish. <laughs> so we changed it up for our little setup and went with the bobber to keep the warm on top water. Main reason because um, I try to keep away from the turtles. There's a lot of turtles out here. So after I caught that drum, we we're getting bites and um, I think it's just a bunch of turtles. But we didn't make the adjustment and um, this is the catfish that we caught. Here we are, second fish of the day. Nice little river catfish. I'm going to let them go. All right, buddy. Catch you later. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. There you are. You gone. Let me show you what I got. Basically, it's this is as simple as it get. Uh, got a piece of night crawler at the bottom, small hook, swivel, and the bobber on top. No weight. I kept it top water to uh, avoid a turtle uh, nipping a uh, nipping at the uh, worm at the bottom. So that seems to be working pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue with this setup and see if we catch more fish. Let me attach the new piece of worm here. <laughs> Another thing I noticed, a bunch of fish jumping. I don't know what they are. I thought it were carp at first, but then I got a closer look at it. It didn't look like carp. 
don't know, buffalo, uh, with buffalo jumps? I don't think so. I don't know, but anyways, this is, this is the new adjustment. Seems to be working pretty well, so let's go ahead and cast it out and uh, catch more fish. So you could kind of see my bobber right there. The wind is pushing this way. So I cast it a little bit to the left and just let it drift across this creek. And um, uh, it seems to be working pretty good. So you just keep the warm away from the bottom and kind of drift on the top. Yeah, I think it will attract some fish on top water. And well, well, that catfish is usually a bottom feeder and he went up and grabbed it too. So they seem to work pretty well right now. So the bobber technique kind of died down a little bit um, after 30 minutes or so, couldn't get a bite. And I noticed a bunch of fish was actually jumping and making a lot of action on the other side of the creek. And the only way to get to there is a bunch of rocks. So I decided to do some rock hopping. Might not be the smartest idea. Go ahead and try to be a little adventurous here. So a bunch of fish jumping over here. And I think they're gar. I'm pretty sure they're gar. And they're sitting right over there in those pools. I want to see if I can uh, make my way over there. You can see over there, that's where my other rod is. Gotta yeah, set it up over there. Come on, this side. Ooh, there's fish lapping everywhere. Look at that. Come on, just let's, let's get hooked up here. Let's get let's get into one really good sized fish. All right, guys, we made our way upstream. You can see that's the spillway right there. And um, you can't go past the chain wire with balloons on it. So I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cast it right underneath that line right there. See if we could attract some fish. fishing right underneath that bridge. <laughs> I don't know how deep it is, this pool of water is. It doesn't look that deep. Right, let's try this again, shall we? It's very tricky not to get caught up in that line, cable line on top. So as you can see, it's very shallow around this body of water, probably a foot of depth, maybe not much. So we had to make some adjustment. It was just ripping through the night crawlers and I decided to go ahead and bring out my ultra light setup. There's definitely fish underneath this bridge. I switch over to my gold minnow. I think it's a tiny little brim or a perch. I will leave a link in the description below and also in the top right corner the video of this ultralight setup. Um, check it out. This is actually uh, one of my favorite uh, new way of fishing now and uh, you'll catch a bunch of fish. Yes, bro. <laughs> so this is the guy who's been trying to steal my my crawler. Tiny little brim. <laughs> Look how tiny it is. Oh my lord. Wow. This guy is so small. <laughs> All right, buddy. Catch you later. Go on. Oh, that felt better. Huh. Just right on that bridge right there. <laughs> Sorry for the construction noise in the back, but hey, you know what? You just have to roll with the punches. 
these guys are working hard to make sure that our roads is nice and safe and it's paved and it's up to code. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Look how tiny it is. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, I should bring this home for my fish tank. Oh lordy. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Super tiny. <laughs> Alright buddy, catch you later. Hey guys, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I'm actually back home in the local pond nearby by my house. Yeah, everything kind of died out there. Um, all my equipment from the heat. Um, I was just sitting there talking to myself for like 30 minutes without realizing it wasn't even recording. So, but yeah, those um, those two brims at the end, <laughs> man, those guys. If <laughs> I know they're not the biggest uh, fish on the river, but we certainly caught the two smallest fish out there. Hey, but if there's a score for attitude, those brims that certainly deserve the highest regard because they attack my night crawlers, they attack my minnows. I mean, I lost like six minnows, goat minnows, that is. But yeah, uh, it was a very interesting video. The spillway was a little slow. Um, I expected to have more action uh, at the beginning, especially when I hooked up on that drum really within like two or three minutes. And after that, um, yeah, the whole action has kind of died down. We did make an adjustment and went with the bobber fishing and, you know, I got some action, hooked up on that catfish. And then I saw a bunch of fish, you know, kind of surface and I think they were gar, but I'm not sure. But I have to double check. I, I believe gar, they do surface and breathe. But regardless, we had a good day, um, had a good time out there. We end up walking upstream near the spillway and fish right underneath that bridge with construction running. So, but yeah, if anywhere with water, I'm your man. I will be there. I will cast my line in and try to get you guys some fish. But yeah, we had a good time. Thank you for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next one.